Psalm chapter 83 this morning. Psalms. Psalm chapter 83 this morning. I was reading my Bible yesterday morning, and I was reading in John, and then I just felt like God wanted me to read in Psalms, so I went and read in Psalms. And then I got stuck in Psalm 83. I think I read it four or five times yesterday morning. Like, Basiko Balik Balik, Psalm 83. Kining a chapter, like, Kuput, how it's a Kuput one. A Kuput something, Kassin Kassin. Can I say that? It gripped my heart. Or would be better be Kuput on a Kassin Kassin in a chapter? That's my Psalm 83, verse 1. We're going to read. In three different books this morning, so keep your Bibles up, open, when we stand up, and we're going to go to Psalms, then Proverbs, and then Job. So all of them close together, do all, do all, see them, tanan, books of poetry. Psalm 83, kung na nasa, amen? Amen. Tanan manin do, pleo, para fagbas, sa pulong sa Job. Psalm 83, verse number 1 and 2. Psalm 83, verse number 1, and verse number 2. English, you're not beside katuha. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Besides, Delika magpakahilom, O Diyos. Delika maghilom, O Giyaw, paghunong, O Diyos. Kahit tanawa, ang imong mga kaaway naghimo o utsika kaguliyang. Something you kaguliang. What is kaguliang? It's like saba. Is it similar to saba? Uncontrolled noise. Tumult in English. Ang imo mga kaaway naghimo og usaka kaguliang og sila nga nagdumo kanimo mipatu mipatoy hakao sa ulo. I don't know what that means. Mipatoy hakao. What does that mean? to raise the head. In English, they have lifted, in English, have lifted up the head. He's talking about pride. You know what I'm talking about? Garbo. Have lifted up the head in pride or rebellion. Verse 5. We're going to skip two verses to now in verse 5. He's talking about God's enemies still. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against the dagang lalong na pulong. Unsa ang passport sa confederate? Basaya lang. Kay sila nagpakitambag pagtingog uban sa usika paguyon. Sila nagkaabin batok kanimo. Sa tinyo nagkaabin, meaning naghimo sa alliance, di ba? Alliance, alliance. They are confederate. Nagka, nag, what is the word? Nagkaabin sila. Now turn to Proverbs chapter 21. You're in Psalms. Go to Proverbs 21. Asan atong verse 30. Proverbs 21, verse 30. Kunana, say amen. Dakan wala pa. Kunana, say amen. There we go. There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. Walay kaalam, ni pagsabot, ni tambak, batok sa ginoo. Do you understand what that means? It means, go ahead, try to fight God, you're not going to win. Pwede ka magtambak, pwede ka magkiksabot, Delika mo daog kung batok ka sa ginoong. Now turn to Job chapter 9 verse 4. Job chapter 9 verse 4. Job chapter 9 verse number 4. Sounds like a verse Gillette would read to me in our challenge game. Job chapter 9 verse 4. He is wise in heart. Next story combines the Jos. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Look at this question. Who hath hardened himself against him and hath prospered? Shama alamon 
Ukkar Shama Alam Saka Singasin Ukam Hanan Sakosog Kinsang Mit Pagahi Sayan Gabaling on Tokania Batoksa Jos Ug Mi Uswag. I'll give you a hint before we get there in the sermon. The answer is Walla. Walla. The title of my message today is When the World Joins Hands Against God. Do you understand the English expression joining hands? It means makabinta, diba? We join together para sa common cause. When the world, kunang kalibutan, makabin batok sa Diyos. When the world joins hands against God, magapunata, ayon kumu makalingkod para sa mensahe. Dear Father, would you please bless the message this morning? Would you fill me with your spirit as I preach what I believe with all my heart? is what you want preached this morning. I pray, God, you'd guide my mind, give me a clear mind. I pray, Lord, you'd help the people to listen. I pray, Lord, that you, if someone has a hard heart, I pray, Lord, you'd soften it today. If someone is struggling, I pray, Lord, you'd help them to put their struggles aside and listen to the truth this morning. Dear God, would you help us today? Would you help me to say what our people need? Holy Spirit of God, fill me, I pray. Please, I yield myself to you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Pwede kong maglingkod. Kaya kung masulti ninyo sa sinuktan, sa mensahe, karumbuntag, klaro d'yon. Kining, kalibutana, nagadumot sa atong Diyos. The world we live in hates our God. I don't mean planet Earth. I'm talking about the system of the world. They hate our God. Turn with me to John chapter 15, verse 18 this morning. John chapter 15, verse 18. We'll have a few verses here at the beginning, and then we'll get to preaching. John chapter 15, verse 18. John chapter 15, and verse 18. Kung nana, say amen. amen. Si Jesus na kasturi sa mga, mga, mga disciples today. English or not, if the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Ko ang kalibutan magdumo kaninyo kamo na hibalong akini mi dumo na kanako sa wala pa kini mi dumo kaninyo. Look down to verse 23. You're at verse 18. Go to verse 23. He that hated me, si Jesus Christo na kasturi today. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. Karon sila nakakita og nagdumo kanako og sa akong amahan. As one man stated it, this world is no friend of grace. Kining galibutana de higala sa grasya. This world, are you listening to me this morning? The world we live in hates our God. Ang galibutan Gipuyanan na to, Isaiah. Gipuyanan na to. Nagadumot sa Diyos na gihigugma na to. Say, what do you mean, Pastor Mike? I'm not talking about the earth. I'm not talking about even individual people, though certainly that's included. I'm talking about the system. The world's system is the enemy of God. The Bible says in, in the book, uh, is it James? Friendship with the world is enmity with God. Ang pagkahigala sa kalibutan, maong pagka, I don't know, enmity. Makak, maka, ha? Ma, pa, kig, bato, enmity? Bato? Like rock? Bato. I thought you said bato. Okay. Sorry about that. Say, what are you talking about, Pastor Mike? Okay, let me give you illustrations. Who in the world is the enemy of God? I'm talking about the music industry of the world is the enemy of God. 
Say music industry, I mean ang tanan music sa kalibutan. O ang tao nga maghimo sa music, ang tao nga mag-record, ang tao nga mag-kanta, ang tao nga mag-play. Ang music industry, meaning ang tanan nga nailabot sa kalibutan, kalibutan hong nga music, anything connected to the world's music is a part of a battle against God. The music of our world, listen, everything in the world's music is an attack on God. Everything. The language is blasphemous. What's that? Pa- what's blasphemy? Pa- pala. Pasipala. Ang music, ang, 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 ang mga lyrics, magpasipala. Sa atong Diyos. They're filled with sensuality. Ang music mismo, ma, 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 uh, uh, is, is sensual, lawas non, or non non. It creates wicked desires. And the music industry, you listen to me, music of this world is an attack on God and everything that's righteous. Ang Christian nga mamina sa music ni Ining Kalibutana, dili siya magpabilin doon sa atong Diyos. That music is the devil's music. It's the enemy. It's the enemy of God, and it will take you away from God. The music. I'm talking the people who write the lyrics. They are fighting our God. Are you listening? Sila nakigawai batok sa atong Dios. I'm talking about the movie and TV industry. Nasabta niyo ang pulong industry, minyang tanan na may labot. Talk about the movie and TV industry. You listen to me. Almost everything you see on TV or in the movies is a direct attack on our God. It is an attack on our God. On our God and on His ways of righteousness. They are God's enemies. I'm talking about the fashion industry. Something in your fashion that's the word you use. The Visayan word is uso, diba? But you use the word fashion, diba? The fashion industry, listen to me. The fashion industry is an enemy of God. The fashion industry is teaching our young ladies, if you want to be beautiful, put on lots of makeup and take off half of your clothes and you'll be beautiful. Now don't misunderstand me. I don't think makeup is sin. But the fashion industry teaches you you can't be beautiful without it. The fashion industry mo turlo sa mga babae kung ganahan ka mahimong guapa kinahang lang ka magsuot sa daghang makeup o kinahang lang mawala katunga sa mong saninas ipakita sa mong lawas dahil guapa na ka. That's what the fashion industry is teaching. That's what the fashion industry is teaching. I lost my place in my notes. Can I say today, what we love on some guitarlos of fashion, on some common, on some popular carol, God still says women should be modest. Amen. The fashion industry is teaching our young men to dress, walk, and talk like girls. Hey, listen. On the fashion industry, na guitarlos ay tumbatan ng mga lalaki. If you want to be cool, kung ganon ka, nga if you want to be the accepted cool guy. You want to follow, you want to be like the K-pop guys. I'll be honest, I put this in my notes yesterday as I was typing. I do not understand girls who like K-pop singers. They're gross. <laughs> they wear makeup. Why would a girl like that? Look, look. The Bible still says that men should be men and women should be women. Amen. You're not going to see Pastor Mike walking down the street like a girl. You're not going to see him. You know why? I'm a man. And I can't change it and I don't want to. But I don't think men, I don't think girls should walk, walk like men either. Men should be men and, men and women should be women and both should be modest. Amen. Cover your body. What is that? Taboni or ta- itago? What is that? Taboni ang imong lawas. Cover it up. Cover it up in church, cover it up at home, and cover it up on Facebook. Amen. 
I'm telling you today. The fashion industry is an attack on God. And you listen to me. If you're following the fashion industry, you're not following God. No, you're not. No, you're not. You have to choose who do you want to follow. We follow the trends from Korea or from the actors and the dancers. If a guy doesn't act like a sissy and grow his hair real long and, and put up his cute little bulgong dere and all that, if he doesn't do that, then he puts tattoos on him so he feels tough. Tattoos don't make you tough. They make you stupid. Amen. And I'll say this too. Burning your skin to join a fraternity is also stupid. Why would you do that? I'll tell you a secret. It's a whole lot easier to join a church. Get saved, get baptized. We don't burn you ever. And most people who get baptized, we let them up. Just kidding. Look, listen guys. Hey, hey guys, listen. If you want to follow God, look at me. Cut your hair. Follow. Give your earrings and your necklace to your sister. She's prettier than you anyway. You hear me? What is earring in Messiah? Because that earring is not cat. That's very different. <laughs> huh? What is it? Aritis. It sounds like a disease. <laughs> I'm saying today this world is God's enemy. Are you listening? They are his enemy. They are his enemy. Who are you talking about, Pastor Mike? I'm talking about the evolutionists who spend their lives trying to prove that God doesn't exist. What a stupid way to live your life. What a waste. Listen to me. Those men are not just scientists. They are at war with God. By the way, that's why you should be very careful where you go to college. Are you listening? Because my dog hung out on professor, and my lip by chud, and my tarok Simon Pato, the ass Simon Jones. Did I pronounce that? Did I say that right, Sakto? There are many professors who would love to shake your faith in God and in His Word. Dog hung and dog hung just more kini kana na pedara sa ilang mga anak anak ngato sa secular university. Kung emang iyang mga anak mo uli. I believe in science now. You be careful. You better be real sure God wants you at a secular university. Because false teaching, be very careful. Talking about this world as the enemy of God. I'm, I'm talking about the alcohol industry. Sila nga maghimo. Sila nga magbaligya. Sila nga magdrive sa truck sa pag deliver. I'm talking about the alcohol industry. You listen to me. If I was a truck driver, I would not work for a, for a, for a company that sells alcohol. Di ko mo deliver sa ilimnon, ilimnon, nga mo kubat sa mga pamilya sa siyudad. Sa, sa If I owned a sorry, sorry store, I dead sure wouldn't sell it. Masyak jud ko. Delete masyak jud. Delete, delete kinood na. Because I've been here long enough, it, it doesn't surprise me anymore. But it should be shocking. Every, almost every single sorry, sorry store in the Pitan sells alcohol. You walk in, Catholic joy, religious guy. Of course, when we don't buy it, we don't buy it, we don't buy it, we don't 
Because they don't, don't they do, don't they? I know they do in America. It's common knowledge in my body. But let me tell you something. Alcohol and everybody who makes it, sells it, or makes money from it is an enemy of God. It destroys families. For that matter, my own boy, no my human boy. Mukawa sabatasan. And there's people making lots of money, millions of pesos, by destroying families. I'm talking about this world is the enemy of God. I'm talking about people who make, sell, or allow drugs into the Philippines. They are the enemy of God. The person who makes it, the person who sells it, and the government official who pretends he doesn't see it. Are you listening to me? They are God's enemy. I'm going to take a step further. I'm talking about the LGBTQ and all their allies as they fight to destroy God's beautiful plan for the home and human sexuality. They are the enemies of God. Hey, don't you misunderstand me. Listen to me very carefully. I'm not talking about the, the every bayou or every tomboy. I'm talking about the people at the top who are trying to destroy the family. I'm talking about the people in deaf ed who are pushing it into the curriculum. Motudlo say in yung mga anak sa skwela, kinahangan ka mag-decision, lalaki ka babae, nagsulay mo palibog sa mga batanon na to. Di ko magbaso sa mga batanon, magbaso ko sa mga tautang buong tao sa deaf ed. You shouldn't call teachers buong. I'm not talking about the teachers, I'm talking about the teachers' bosses. But sometimes the teachers do. Ang Diyos naghimo sa nindot matahong na plano para sa panimalay o human sexuality. And LGBTQ is about one thing, destroying God's beautiful home. Makaguba at makadapod sa plano sa Diyos. They are at war with God. It's not just about, I want my equal rights. That is not what it is. They are fighting against God's plan. Nakikuba sila patok sa plano sa Diyos. And listen to me, they're trying to steal our kids because they can't have their own. Nagsulay sila ang mukawa sa atong mga anak, tumundili sila pwede mga anak. And somebody's got to stand up and say, it's wrong. Kinaan na abis ang utsi kita, matindong musuti, kinaan na klasi sa lifestyle, magkuba sa ibang kinwi, ayaw mo to, kanina magkakos. Ayam ang hula ang tod 40, 50 years old na kagi mong kinawit na dapat jod. Ha, basin na sayo sila. Basta plantaw ang Biblia. Ang Biblia magwan ka ni mo. I'll take it another step. I'm, I'm talking about the climate change activists. They are the enemy of God. Really, Pastor Wink? Yes. The climate change activists. They are God's enemy. And here's why. They are trying to prove that we, as man, are more powerful than God. Do you know what you call that? Humanism. It is ang tao magsulay mo pato sa yung kaugulingon na kami kita ang Diyos. Well, I like Diyos. We're the powerful ones. That's what, that's what climate change ha activism is all about. It's saying, God, you're not in control. We are. Are, are you following me this morning? It's humanism. That's all it is. It's humanism. Ang tao mas kamahanan kaysa Diyos. Read your Bible. Basang yung Biblia. Ang Diyos ang mag-control sa climate. Delete them down. Turn to Psalm 103 verse 19. Climate change activism. I put this on Facebook yesterday. Climate change activism is a direct assault on the sovereignty of God. 
sovereignty and nagpasabot ang Diyos naglabaw sa tanan. His kingdom, we're going to read it here. I'm going to read it. I'm going to steal my own thunder. It's the next verse. It means God is over all. Psalm 103, verse 19. Psalm 103, verse 19. My mother made me memorize this when I was probably six or seven, maybe. I know, probably five. Psalm 103, verse 19. Can I not say amen? The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Ang gino mi andam sa yung throne o diyas kalangitan o ang iyang ginharian nagamando ibaba sa tanan. Yet the culture of the climate change and all that stuff, they're saying, God, you can't take care of the earth. We have to do it. Mas gamhan ang mi kay kanimo. We don't need your help. It is a brazen denial of the sovereignty of God. Brazen means bagagnawong. Bagagnawong or mga hason. Pull, walay hadlok, walay kaulaw. A brazen denial of the sovereignty of God. You listen to me very carefully. The crazy government can pass all the crazy laws they want in America or the Philippines. But they will never stop climate change because his kingdom ruleth over all and he's the one making it change. Climate has always changed. That's not new. Can I walk next start so they next start me and I drive old cars? Oh, cars and see, what is it? CO, CO2 emissions? No. Carbon emissions. That is CO2, isn't it? I don't know. The carbon emissions! The ones that are sucking on! Can I climate change so I walk by cars? There were earthquakes and tornadoes and hurricanes and, and volcanoes. None of that's new. Man's not causing it. God is. And I'll show you. Turn with me to Isaiah chapter 50 verse 2. You listen to me. God, all he has to do is this. Bloop. Book my change in climate. Isaiah 50 verse 2. Isaiah chapter 50 verse number 2. Isaiah chapter 50, verse number 2. Kunana, say amen. Wherefore, when I came, was there no man? When I called, was there none to answer? Is my hand, I'm just like a story today, is my hand shortened at all that it cannot redeem? Or have I no power to deliver? Behold, at my rebuke, I dry up the sea. I make the rivers a wilderness. Their fish stinketh because there is no water and diet for thirst. Tanawa, sa akong pagpadlong, ako nagpamala sa dagat, ako naghimo sa mga suba na usi kakamingawan, ang ilang ista nagapanimaho tungod kay wala ay tubig o akong nagakamatay tungod sa kauhaw. Listen, if the rivers and the seas dry up, who did it? Kung mamala ang suba, mamala ang mga daga, kinsa ang naghimo ni Ana, ang Diyos. At my repute, not at the newest carbon law. Psalm 107, verse 35. Turn there. Psalm 107, verse 35. I'm going to get a drink of water. Sometimes people who think they can control the climate call people like me a climate denier. I'm not a climate denier. I just believe God controls it, not them. Like a told them, just not control us the climate, and just not control us the weather. Psalm one, uh, where are we? Psalm 107, verse 35. Puna, puna na, say amen. He, God, He turneth the wilderness into a standing water and dry ground into water springs. Siya nag-ausap sa kaming, kaming awa nga ko sa uska nag-apundo nga, na, nga tubo no, sorry, 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 nga tubig o sa malak nga yuta nga to sa mga tinugdan sa tubig. Kung na ay deserto o na ay spring, na ay tubod who did that? God. 
God. We as Christians need to stop listening to the crazy people on the internet and the crazy people on TV. God is still in control. Amen. And really, climate change activism is another battle attacking God. How? It attacks his sovereignty. Teaching that man is more powerful than God. No, we're not. I love what the Bible says about uh, Edom. Edom. I forget what book. I think it's in Malachi. And he says, Edom had said, we are impoverished. Meaning, uh, We are impoverished, but we will arise and build again the waste places. We're going to rebuild our cities. And God says, they shall build up, but I will throw down. This world keeps saying, we're going to fix the climate. And God says, no, you're not, because I'm in control. God uses the climate to send blessings on those he wishes to bless and to send judgment on those he wishes to judge. The climate, the weather, cannot angalamitonlang dia sakamo sa Dios para sa panalangin o para sa paghukam. God is in control. I'm saying this morning that this world is at war with God. Are you listening? And we need to decide which side we're on. Something like that. The big gun. We need to decide whose side we're on. In our text verses earlier, go back to Psalm chapter 83. Psalm chapter 83. Psalm 83, verse 1. Who not us? Amen. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Thine enemies make a tumult. What was that word again? Kaguliang? Kaguliang? What a word. Sounds like kaguling on. Kaguliang. Look at me now. That's exactly what God's enemies are still doing today. Making a tumult. Jos! That's what all God's enemies are doing today. God will do what we want. That's a tumult. The world says to God, God, kung ganan ta, mo patay sa among mga anak, sa walak pa na tao sila, dahil dalit pa mo tao sila, dalit ka makahunong ka na to. We want to murder our unborn children. You can't stop us. God will teach evolution in our schools. Mo tudlo ta sa mga anak, gikan sa kindergarten dito sa US, nga magikan sila sa mga unggoy, nga pinaagi sa evolution. Now, nakalabot ko today na kami mga membro, nagbasin na yung mga tao, gikan sa unggoy. Wako sure. Naglantaw lang tao, rin ko nako sure. Pasin kung maghimo niya na, pasin mas klaro. And, uh, God will teach the kids in kindergarten, in first grade, in second grade, in third grade. Now what I chose, magikan me some ungoy. And God, you can't stop us. This world makes a tumult. God will teach our children that they can choose whether they want to be a boy or a girl. Kita mo tulo sa among mga anak na sila na ipilian. Ganang kamahin ng lalaki o babaye. Can I just take a time out and say, wala kay pilihan. Gipilit na jod sa Diyos. It's really easy. Kuha ang inong birth certificate. Male 
or female. He made them male and female. Walay katunga. Hey, katunga. Walay katunga. Well, I, I'm kind of in the middle. No, you're not. You are a male or you're a female. Basi nalibo, pero wala ka sa katunga. This world says, God kita magplay o mamina sa atong dautang lawas ng the music o dili ka magstop kanato. You look at the music of this world; it's all about rebellion. God, we can do what we want. God kita maghimo o magtana sa atong dautang mga movie, dautang mga TV shows o dili ka magapahunong kanato. Is that right? Magapahunong, di ba? Or magap? How you say? Sakto na? Huh? Did I say kanato? Did I say kanato? Whatever. You know what I mean. God, kita kami, then kita kami, mag develop sa hugaw ng mga fashion, the dirtiest things we can imagine, and you can't stop us. Di ka makapugong kanamo. We'll sell our beer, we'll drink our beer, we'll have our party, we'll do our drugs, and you can't stop us. We will do what we want. That's what this world says to God today. Psalms 2. Why do the heathen rage? Tumult. God's enemies are still making a tumult today. You want to see it? Watch TV. Go on YouTube. You'll see the tumult. Watch the news. This world hates God and they hate the laws of God. Nagdumo sila sa mga balaot sa Diyos. And here's the really strange thing about this world. Are you listening? They think they can win. Una-una sila na sila makadao matok sa Diyos. But I got news for the world today. They're wrong. Nakoy balita. Breaking news. Straight from heaven, you're not going to fight God and win. God always wins. The world thinks they can actually win, and here's why. You have your Bibles? Are you still in Psalm 83? Look at verse 5. The now in verse 5. Nga naman ang kalibutan, naghunuhunan ang sila makatao, kakumukita ni mo sarasan. Psalm 83, verse 5. Who not say amen? For they have consulted, watch, together. With what one consent, they are confederate against thee. Kaisila nagpakitambag pagtingob. Upan sa uska pag-uyon. We're all in agreement, God. Sila nagkaabing batok kanimo. Have you seen the signs here? I've seen them somewhere here in the Philippines. Have you seen the signs? Stronger together. Stronger together. The world believes if we get all together, we can do anything we want. They're wrong. They're wrong because you listen, his kingdom still ruleth over all. Ang young king hari and nag nag rule. Ang young king hari and nag hari is that rule? Nag or nag laba ba sing? They're wrong. God's kingdom still rules over all. Today I want to deliver a message to the wicked world. You say, Pastor Mike, they're not listening, but you are, so you can take it to them, all right? I got a message for the wicked world. All the people I've talked about today, Nakigawai, Patoksa Jos, Patoksa Plano. Are you listening? You can't fight my God and win. No one ever has. Proverbs 21 verse 30. There is no wisdom, nor understanding, 
nor counsel against the Lord. Walay kaalam ni pagsabot ni tambag batok sa ginoo. Are you listening to me now? The world thinks it's winning. But in the end, they're going to lose. Sa katapusan sila mapilde. So go ahead, world. Padayon na lang. Padayon na lang sa imong pagplano, imong paglaro, imong imong pakiguba, patok sa Diyos. Padayon na lang. Basin ikaw mag-una ka ron. Basin naidakong kurta ka ron para sa katapusan mapilde ka. Go ahead, Tanduay. Go ahead, Red Horse. Go ahead, make lots of money. Millions of pesos. Ruin families. It's a katapusa mapilidit man ka. Because my God still rules over all. You think, ang doubt ang tao sa tanduay, and by the way, they are wicked. Ang doubt ang tao sa tanduay, naghimo sa dakong ginansya, pinagi sa pagguba sa mga pamilya. Puno na sila, mo dabog sila, tumang karon, oh, we're doing fine, naga dabog mi karon. But in the end, they're gonna lose. There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. Wala ka alam, ni pagsabo, ni tambak, batok. Tambak, sorry, batok. Sige na ko. Go ahead, wicked singers and dancers. Dautang mga artists. K-pop, rock and roll, rap, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead, batayon. Make your recordings. Pwede ka mag-meeting, mag-plano sa mong tour. Magpa, magpahugaw ka sa mga batano sa mong nasod, pinahagi sa mong doubt ang music, patayon na lang. You think you're gonna win, you're gonna lose. His kingdom still ruleth over all. Go ahead, TV and movie industry. Himong mong how hugaw ng mga movies. Hugaw ng TV shows. Laugh at sin. Just make fun. Be no one sa sa mga mga matarong sa mga butang sa chow. Make fun, laugh, make your money. You may be winning today, but you're gonna lose at the end. His kingdom ruleth over all. Listen to me. Our God is patient. Taas judge sa pasensya, but He will judge. Are you listening to me today? Go ahead, fashion industry. Him only mong doubt on fashions. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you put rips all the way up and down the pant legs so everybody can see the legs? So everybody can lust at the, after the legs of the girls wearing their geesey geesey pants. Hey, why don't you make skirts so short that a man can see the entire leg? I don't matter doubt on the mawagi pwede mang ibog sa babae. Go ahead, make your wicked, dirty fashions. You may make money today, but you're going to lose in the end. Go ahead, atheist crowd. Pwede ka magtudlo sa mong doubt ang evolution diya sa skwela. Pwede ka magdaot sa pagtu sa mga batanon. In the end, God's going to judge you. The wicked world believes kung kitang tanan magkaabin, kung nai-alansa, ay nagnatay alliance, we can do anything we want. But they forgot God's kingdom still rules over all. And I come back to my third text. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who hath hardened himself against him and hath prospered? Siya maalamon sa kasing-kasing o gamhanan sa kuso kinsa ang may pagkahi sa iyang kawuling ang patok kaniya o may uswag. The answer, that's called a rhetorical question because we all know the answer. Nobody. Pharaoh hardened himself against God. Kamusta siya? Jonah hardened himself against God. He got swallowed by a whale. Are you listening? Herod hardened himself against God. He died instantly and was eaten of worms, the Bible says. Kinsa nagpagahit sa yung kaugulio ang patok sa Diyos o nag-uswag. Wala pa. O dilika. Mag-una. 
you're not going to be the first one. You say, I can, I can do what I want. But you're not going to prosper. You're going to lose in the end. No one has ever fought our God and won. Well, I thought that keep a wise that atong Joseph na kadapo. This world is not going. Watch now. This is the message. This world is not going to beat God, and neither will you. Kine nga kalibutan dali mo daog sa Joseph. Dali ka magbaliwala sa enpulong, maghimo sa imong kabuliyong dalan, mag magbaliwala sa sa saktong paagi sa Joseph. You're not going to ignore God's way and have a successful, happy life. No, you won't. Dili mong good. Well, I think I'll be the exception. Lahi ang akong situation. No, it's not. Tungod pariyo man ang Diyos. No one has ever fought with God and won. And then somebody says, Well, but Pastor Mike, nagkaila ko sa tao nga datot, hangtot, sadlaw, saan ka matayo. He won. Did you hear what you just said? Is he dead? He didn't win. He's dead. Are you listening? Patay na siya. Wala siya nagadao. Pero mali pa siya. Ang tod mamatay. No, he wasn't. You don't know. Wicked people are never happy. Ang dautang dalit jud mali pa. The Bible says there is no peace to the wicked. Well, I kalin out the hat sa mga dautan. None. 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 Well, I tao nakigalway sa Joseph nagadao. Dalit ka. I don't want to say neither will you. Here's the message today. Instead of trying to fight against God and God's will, why don't you just join God's team and let God guide your life? Are you listening? Instead of just instead of fighting against God and proving to everyone God always wins, why don't you join God's team? We have a great English expression. It goes like this: If you can't beat him, join him. Sabtan niyo kana kung delika makadao kanila, mo pil lang kanila, pagapil lang kanila. Let me tell you something. You can't beat God, so why don't you just surrender and give God your life? Ang pinaka nindot at laos ay mong kinabuhit mga at laos sa kaluwasan. Ang pinaka ang ikaduha ng nindot na at laos ay mong kinabuhit mga at laos sa surrender. And that's the message today. Are you surrendered or are you fighting what you know God wants for your life? God is saying, "Ganan kung ay kamo agi dere, we kano di ko ganan mo at ganan kung agi dere." You're fighting God, but you're not going to win. Are you listening, Christians? You're not going to win. Mas may upa ko ay kaut. I'm talking about surrender. I'm talking about all to Jesus, I surrender. All to Him, I freely give. Ang tanan ito yan na ko ng ato ni Jesus Kristo. Tanan, tanan. Are you surrendered? I'm talking about saying, God, bisan unsa ng ay mong gusto para sa akin kinabuhi. Surrender. Complete surrender. But Pastor Mike, me and my parents, ako ako kinikana nag uyon na dapat komo ato sa secular university. Okay, but does God agree? Kana ba ang iyan kabubuton or is that your will? Are you surrendered? We think, well, if my if I agree with somebody else, then I'm I can win against God. No, you won't. You can be confederate, makaabi, but that doesn't mean you're going to win. Well, Pastor Mike, ako akong uya, nag nag uyon mi ng kini ang saktong butang para sa among kini buik karon. Okay, but what does God think? Is it God's will for you to have an uya right now? Pastor Mike, ang akong pamilya nag uyon kanako dapat ko mo 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 biyahe mag mag work overseas. Oh, okay. You agree with your family, but what does God think? Are you surrendered? Na ba itlaw sa mong kinabuhi ng ikaw na tugyan sa tanan ng ato ni Jesus Cristo? God, I surrender. We used to say, my pastor used to say all the time, pull out the white flag and wave it. Y'all know what the white flag means? What's a white flag? 
I surrender. Wala na kong nag-uba. Uba ninyo karong buntag. Wala kay kalinaw. Pasi na ilingaw-lingaw, pero wala kalinaw. Gamay ang kalipay. Walang rason. Ito na pa ay mga area sa mong kinibuhi na wala pa ka nagtugyang na ito sa ginoon. You're still, maybe, oh, nag, nag-surrender ka. Kining area, kining area, kining. But, pero na pa ay lain area, lain area, wala pa gitugyang ni mo. Why don't you take out the flag today and surrender everything? Full surrender. There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. Mas may mo bil kaniya kaysa pakigawain niya. Why don't you surrender today? What are you unsa naghawid paka? Bad grammar na. Unsa gihawiran pa ni mo? Unsa gihawiran pa ni mo? Jos na yung kinang ka magbuhi ni Ana. Give it to God. To go to Him, Joss, Mangulo, Simon, Kinabuhi, Magia, Simon, Kinabuhi. Whenever hit bad, ever hit closed.